What's going on everybody? I uh, appreciate you checking in on this video. Um, I'm out here on early ice doing a little uh, tip-up fishing. Uh, one of the things I wanted to talk about when it comes to tip-up fishing is how you set the hook. Um, every year I go ice fishing with a couple new guys that are, aren't familiar with tip-ups or they just get excited when that flag goes up. Uh, and if you're not setting the hook right, it's causing you probably to lose a lot of fish. Um, when you consider a traditional uh, rod and reel, um, when you get a bite and you go to set the hook, you have two things working in your favor. One, the flex in that rod and your drag system kicking in. Um, if you're setting into a big fish, um, that drag system is going to kick in, uh, that flex in the rod is going to pick up some of that slack, and so you're not going to miss as many fish because you have those systems in place. Um, when you're tip-up fishing, uh, you don't have those things. Um, I set my tip-ups with a fluorocarbon leader anywhere from 10 to 20 pounds, depending on what I'm fishing for. Uh, and you've got to keep in mind that when you're tip-up fishing and you go to set the hook, for every, you know, every inch that you move the line above the water, the same thing is happening below the water because you don't have a bend in your pole and you don't have a drag system. So a lot of the times what we'll see is guys get a flag and they come up and they think they really got to set that hook hard and they just absolutely rip into it. Uh, that's a mistake. So I've actually got a, a few examples of that if you want to take a look right now. Got him? Ah! Hey, remember that conversation we had about setting the hook like a <laughs> buffalo? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he spooled you. There you go. Got him. Door it. <laughs> With it? Yep. Just know that it's got like a, it's got an eight pound fluorocarbon leader. Yep. So if he runs hard, if he runs hard, just let him, let the line slide through your hands like a drag. Just give him a little jerk, little tug, little tug. When I feel him. Oh, he's gone? No, no, no. Just give him a little tug right now. No, he's gone. That's. Yeah, he's gone. Too much of a tug. Okay. That's okay. But yeah, like. So you're gonna pick it up? Nope. Done. Yep. All you need is like this. Just one of those. Yep, because this line has zero stretch in it. Yep. So like if you think about like every inch you pull up here is an inch of pull down there. Got it. So as you can see that over exaggerated hook set can uh, become problematic at times unless you're fishing with a super heavy line and the line can accommodate that those heavy hook sets you know for a huge pike or something like that for but for me it's mostly walleyes so uh, all you really need to do when that flag goes up is just give enough of a tug to set that hook um, you just want to set that hook into the top side corner of that fish's mouth and then start playing the fish with the tip you know with the line and using your hands as the drag system so uh, just keep in mind that that little pull little tug is all that you really need for a good hook set it's going to help you from breaking off uh, your leader on these set lines uh, and it's going to cause you to catch a lot more fish in the long run um, so some of the biggest fish i'm going to catch this year through the ice i can almost guarantee are going to come on tip ups and if i'm setting that hook right it's going to be that much more effective so here's a little uh, hook set big fish montage to close out the video and uh, thanks for checking in. Oh yeah, that's set up. Yeah, I'd say, I'm gonna get, oh, got him. The one we've been looking for, right there. Got him this time. First fish of the day. Got him. Just a beauty. There you go, nice hook set. You like that? I typically like the buffalo hook set here, pulling in some fish.